Hey everyone, okay, so today I'm going to be doing a review for you of these two new products Ultra HD Foundation by Makeup Forever and the Ultra HD Stick Foundation. Now, if you are or if you have a computer or a television that is 4K compatible, click the HD button and change it to the 4K setting. I'm uploading this in 4K. Now, for those of you that don't, if you do click it, it may look slightly odd, so you need to bear that in mind, so just bring it down. Now, the reason I'm filming it in such a high, ultra, ultra high definition um, format is one, so you can see me exactly as I really am, and two, because Makeup Forever claim that their ultra, ultra HD range are 4K compatible. In 2008, when Makeup Forever released the uh, HD foundation, Makeup artists and people alike loved the foundation, myself included, because it just looks so wonderful on the skin and photographs so beautifully. With the invention of 4K, which basically means four times sharper than HD, scary. Makeup Forever have re-released their Makeup Forever HD line, calling it Ultra HD. So what I'm going to do is I'm filming this, as I said, in 4K, and I'm going to be giving you a demo of the product. Now, for those of you who are wondering what shade range you are, since they've changed the kind of numbering system, in the description bar below is all that information with the old shade ranges and the new ones. So you can find your shade range, don't worry about it. So, for those of you who are wondering if there's any differences in the formula, and you'll see it on the skin shortly, the short answer is it's, the easiest way to say it is it's more friendly to mature and oily skin. A lot of the powders have been taken out and there is a more light reflective quality to it. There is, as you will see, no doubt that this foundation has an incredibly lifelike feel to it. It does look like a second skin, and those of you that loved the original HD will love the Ultra, without a doubt. Those of you who weren't that kind of fond of it would absolutely, definitely benefit from retrying it because it is just the most beautiful formula. So let's make a start, let's give it a good shake. I'm just taking one single pump of the product and I'm gonna be using my foundation brush, which is brush number 10. And I'm stippling this onto the skin. And I just can't stress this enough that for those of you who can watch this in 4K, then absolutely do. So I'm stippling it onto the skin and the shade that I'm using is was the original 165 shade, which is now called R420. So I'm stippling it on and you notice I'm stippling I haven't started to kind of really blend it yet. I'm still in that stippling phase. And now I'm gonna, with just with the tips of the brush, blend. And I've still got about half the product on my hand. It blends so beautifully onto the skin. And to say that it looks like skin is an understatement. Now to me, the goal of a foundation is to even out the skin tone, not to erase every single feature on the face. But you can certainly build it up. To me, this is a great amount of coverage, but we'll add just a fraction more, just for, just so you can kind of see a bit more product build up on the skin. So this is the liquid that we're dealing with first. And I'm gonna layer this with the stick. And on my skin underneath this, I have the Makeup Forever Primer, which is the nourishing primer, because my skin tends to border on dry. Okay, so pretty much that is it. You can see that there is a radiant finish to it. It's not matte in the slightest, but it's lifelike and skin-like. It is incredibly lightweight and it just looks just so beautiful in real life. With a small smattering of powder, this would just be a great look. So now we're gonna move on to two shades from the Ultra Stick. So I'm gonna apply the light shade first, which is Y315. And I'm just gonna, actually, I'm just gonna apply it to one side of the face so you can kind of see. And I'm kind of moving it in this direction because that's where I want a bit of a highlight. And the standard contouring, I'm gonna be using 530, and I'm just gonna bring that slightly past the shade. Now, I'm gonna use my foundation brush, but you can use your fingers. I've already played around with these. They blend really beautifully on the skin. They offer a slightly more 
dewy finish than the foundation, but only slightly. It's nothing to worry about because you can set with powder. But they just give a good highlight. Now these don't have to be used as contouring highlighting. You can just use them to as your normal foundation. So I'm just going to build a bit of colour here onto this section and blend it in. Okay, so this is the side that has a way to put a bit more warmth in with the contour here and a bit of highlight. And this is the side without. I haven't set it with any powder yet. This is what it looks like. I honestly think that this is such a leap forward for Makeup Forever in terms of their formulation. It's been reformulated in such a way that it makes it more compatible for more people. Those with oily skin will need to powder it definitely. Those with dry skin can leave it if they want or very lightly powder. Truly, I have nothing negative to say about it and it's not sponsored or paid for in any way, shape or form. A wonderful foundation. All the information on colours, as I mentioned, is in the description bar. Thank you for your comments, look forward to hearing them all, and for those of you who watched in 4K, let me know what you think, and I'll see you all soon. Thanks so much, bye-bye.